Hey there, fashion friends. Welcome to today's episode. I'm very happy that you are here with me today. So what are we talking about on today's episode? We are focusing on how to start your capsule wardrobe. Hey, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like Alright, like I said, I am very happy that you guys are here with me today. If you are new here, on these episodes, we focus on looking at the quality of our clothing, of our style, of our fashion, as well as building our own personal confidence in our own personal style. Along with that, I also share vlogs of my sort of daily lifestyle, sharing what I'm wearing and how it's kind of integrating into my everyday life. So if that sounds like something that you would be interested in, make sure to click that subscribe button and also click that little bell to be notified when I post my new episodes. So there we go. All right, so we're talking about how to start a capsule wardrobe today. This is a topic that I have spoke to quite a bit on this channel, but in most of the videos, I'm more speaking to like the general sort of steps, uh, the, you know, broad sort of approach that you can take to building your capsule wardrobe or sharing different examples of specific capsule wardrobes. So in today's video, I really just wanna focus on a very important part of building a capsule wardrobe, and that is getting started. Just getting started with a capsule wardrobe can be very daunting, but also extremely important to having an efficient capsule wardrobe. So today's video is really just focusing on that very thing, just on how to get started, how you can get to the point where you're picking your anchor pieces. And if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know that the anchor pieces are the pieces that you are going to choose that are gonna be your priority pieces that you're going to revolve the rest of your wardrobe around. I will include some of my show notes down below in the description, but along with that today, I will be including a link. That link will take you to a worksheet that I myself have created with my own sort of system, with my own sort of approach to starting a capsule wardrobe. This will help you work through the process, making it a lot less daunting, as well as that maybe making it a little bit more fun, giving you some better direction, and as well as that creating a good routine. All right, so before we get started, if you're somebody that is not super aware of what a capsule wardrobe is, ultimately a capsule wardrobe is just a very refined, curated wardrobe that really everything circles back to each other, everything kind of works together, and it's very intentional. And ultimately for me, that creates just a really efficient and also a very stylistic wardrobe as well and a very effortless wardrobe um, especially if you're somebody that really wants to be stylistic every single day and not really have to think about it i think a capsule wardrobe is great for that with my capsule wardrobes i usually take the the approach of creating a module wardrobe within the full collection which if you're not familiar with what a module is that is basically just a you know pared down version of a capsule wardrobe it usually will have a very specific focus. I do believe that a capsule wardrobe is not just for the minimalist. I believe that capsule wardrobes can be used by anybody. So that is sort of what I've created my approach around is it being something that can be used at whatever capacity you need it um, and for whatever sort of style you want it to fit with. All right, so with that, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do when starting a capsule wardrobe is choose your focus. And for me, I consider there to be about three different uh, capsule wardrobes. The first one is just gonna be your general capsule wardrobe. This is gonna be your sort of year round wardrobe, just your go-to wardrobe that kind of always stays. Maybe you, you know, change out here and there, switch a few pieces out over the season, um, different seasons. But ultimately, yes, this will stay the same all year round. These will normally range from, I, I guess, 30 pieces all the way up to like 120 pieces. I don't know, like that again, kind of depends on where you're at capacity wise. The next sort of capsule wardrobe is the seasonal capsule wardrobe. And this is pretty self-explanatory. It's going to be the capsule wardrobe that you're going to have for each season. Some people have a very specific 
capsule wardrobe collection for that season. Some people kind of have like a hybrid of like a general capsule wardrobe mixed with like a seasonal capsule wardrobe where they'll kind of have like their key essential pieces and then they'll change out the seasonal pieces. For the seasonal capsule wardrobes, I'd say this usually runs around like 15 to probably 40 pieces per seasonal capsule wardrobe. The next one is going to be your kind of lifestyle capsule wardrobe. And this is where I sort of think the module capsules kind of come into play. Um, I think you can have a module in all of these, but specifically a lifestyle capsule wardrobe is speaking to having modules because modules are ultimately catering to each of your different um, kind of category categories within life. So an example of this would be maybe you have an everyday module um, That's just kind of your everyday attire kind of casual Just what you wear, you know for running errands hanging around the house doing, you know family things Whatever it may be just your kind of everyday go-to pieces another module may be your office slash business module for obviously going to the office if you're somebody that's going to an office. Another one is like a loungewear module, maybe it's an activewear module, but ultimately you're having a smaller version of a capsule wardrobe within the capsule wardrobe that has a very hyper focus. For the lifestyle capsule wardrobe, I would say it's relatively similar to like a general capsule wardrobe of um, 30 to 120 pieces. Again, just depending on what level you want to take it to. So the next thing you're going to do is figure out your capacity. So once you've established the direction you want to go with your capsule wardrobe, the sort of type of capsule wardrobe you want, you can then kind of identify the amount you are going to need. Now, again, this does not mean that you have to go super, super extreme with like a super minimal amount. I think it's just whatever you're comfortable with. And I think what makes you not feel overwhelmed. I think if you are feeling overwhelmed with your wardrobe, yeah, that means that you need to pare it down a bit. If you're not aware of what's happening in your wardrobe, if you're not aware of all your pieces, um, then yeah, you might want to pare down a bit. Along with figuring out your capacity, I think this is where you want to figure out whether or not you want to incorporate modules. So like I said, I love modules for the sense, I just think they make a capsule wardrobe so much more efficient and um, effective for just that effortless daily style. But maybe you're somebody that doesn't really want to deal with modules. Maybe you're somebody that's got a pretty even keeled life. You don't have a lot of different scenarios happening and you just want to have a nice, broad, general wardrobe. And I would say it's funny because when you actually look at your wardrobe, I bet if you actually step, stepped away right now and went and looked at your wardrobe right now, you'd probably realize that without even trying, you have created certain little modules within your wardrobe. So they might already be there and you're not even aware of it. Um, but I definitely think that it really just helps to be more mindful as well of what you have and how it's working for you. If you are somebody that's deciding to do the modules, it will maybe take a little bit more time because you will have to go through the steps for each of the focused modules. Whereas somebody that has got a general wardrobe, you might not have to go through the steps as often. However, you're going to have to manage it through a lot more pieces. Um, so I feel like they each kind of have their pluses and their minuses. This whole process is to get us to our anchor pieces. And so I think when you figure out your capacity, this will help you establish how many anchor pieces you really want to have. Now, again, this can vary, it can change. It depends on, you know, what, you know, how, how much you want to have focus on like the stylistic aesthetic which is the anchor pieces, or if you would just rather have more basics to kind of work around it. But ultimately, um, I would say my kind of rule of thumb for whatever capacity you're working with is about a fourth of the amount to a third of the amount. Um, so an example is like when I'm working with a um, 10 piece module, I will usually keep it around two to three items for my anchor pieces. So I'm finding two to three items that I'm gonna revolve the rest of the wardrobe around. Which brings us to the third, choosing your sub-focus. Whether it's with a full capsule wardrobe or a module capsule wardrobe, this is gonna be the thing that's gonna kind of determine, kind of determine the vibe of the wardrobe. It's gonna determine your anchor pieces. So for me, sometimes I allow for a specific piece 
to inspire the subfocus. Um, but other times I figure out my subfocus before I choose my anchor pieces. I've broken it down to three different subfocuses, which is color, print, or style mood. So as an example on this, when I built my edgy module for my spring capsule wardrobe, I was basically inspired by my G-Star SeaTac boyfriend jeans and my Nilly Lotin Luna pant. And those were kind of what inspired that subfocus of the edgy style mood. So I already kind of just knew I wanted to create this module around those two specific pieces. Um, so it ultimately was going to become an everyday focus with a edgy sub focus. But another example is let's say you're somebody that really enjoys bold prints and you want to create a module for your spring capsule wardrobe. With that, you ultimately can decide, all right, I want to have create a module that revolves around floral printed um, pieces. So that's a scenario where you figure out your sub focus first and then find the pieces to work within that sub focus. But ultimately what it's creating here is an intention. That is what the sort of purpose of all of this thought process is, is to create that intention and to create that direction. Because I think when we have direction and a focus for something, it makes it a lot less daunting. So what I've created in the worksheet down below is ultimately a worksheet for you to work through this process that I've spoke about here today. And for you just have a physical, tangible, um, sort of in a way like a checklist to kind of work through, just help you and kind of work through it in a way that doesn't have to all be just mental all up in your head. It just kind of helps you write things out and really process things in a, in a lot easier of a way. And I feel like what that allows for as well, it allows for you to be a lot more creative. Um, it allows for you to really work out what it is you want. And ultimately it sounds like a lot of work, but I think in the end it creates such effortlessness within the wardrobe that it will be worth all of the work. It will be worth all of the due diligence that you're doing. Today's worksheet is just focusing on getting started. Uh, just getting started to the point of um, working through like the process of figuring out exactly what you want for your capsule wardrobe, as well as getting you to a point where you feel comfortable to start choosing your anchor pieces. So that's strictly what this worksheet focuses on. So definitely if that's on something that is of interest to you, then you can click the link down below and make that purchase. And that really ultimately helps me out as well. So it's a win-win, right? Helping each other out, you know? But I do think that getting started with a capsule wardrobe is probably the most overwhelming part. And I think once you get that part done, once you kind of put the time in to really figure out what it is you want out of your capsule wardrobe, you, it'll make everything else kind of just a little bit easier. It'll kind of be a ripple effect from there. You'll just have a lot more fun through the creative process, I feel like, if you really put the time in to figuring out your objective, to figuring out your intention. All right, you guys, so that is it for today's video. Yes, so make sure to comment below if you do have any questions. I'm super happy to answer them for you. Um, but as well as that, uh, definitely check out that link and see if the worksheet is something that you would like to purchase for yourself to have that ongoing uh, thing to refer back to whenever you go to maybe start over, start a new module, maybe it's you know creating a whole new capsule wardrobe, whatever it may be. Maybe it's just doing a refresh. Uh, this will be something that you can always refer back to and not have to like keep stored up in your brain And also make sure to stay tuned for my upcoming videos Continuing this conversation about capsule wardrobes and how to build capsule wardrobes All right, you guys, you know what to do if you enjoyed today's episode Give me that thumbs up comment below share with your friends and subscribe for future weekly episodes All right, have a beautiful wonderful day stay healthy stay safe love and support each other, and we will definitely be chatting soon. Bye.